just found, I think I found some big silver here. Uh, <laughs> it's a walking Walker. liberty. I... That is a great find. I'm happy. Silver War bullet number two. It's a cannonball. No, it can't be. Why can't it? Hi guys. Today we're going out to the golf course. Uh, it's going to be kind of a weird day though. It really is, is, is not going to feel right. Uh, I'm going to be joined by Alan Van Skyver, but no Tracy today. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just going to be a little weird. I mean, when was the last time you did not see Tracy on one of my videos? Um, you know, I mean, it's not the Mandela effect. It's still Mike Noble digging channel. Everything's right with the world. But uh, Tracy's just not going to be here. I don't know. Maybe we can get Alan to kind of uh, do an impersonation of Tracy. Just so we can kind of get our Tracy fix uh, for the week. I, I don't know if he'll do that or not. Uh, but Alan and I, we're going to have a ball out here. Uh, see if we can find something. Maybe if Tracy's not going to be there, that means there's more gold rings out there for us. Uh, I mean, Tracy just pulled two big old honking 14 karat rings out there. Uh, maybe we'll find something, huh? We're going to have a ball, guys. Uh, so, here we go. Well, there's Alan. No, no. No Tracy, right? No Tracy. No Tracy. Ah, uh, well. Uh, you know, like I was saying on the way down here, that means there's going to be more gold rings in here for us, right? We hope. Let's give it a shot. Uh, Alan's way up there. Uh, we moved uh, kind of to a different place we normally get to hunt in uh, this golf course. And I just dug an 8 inch hole. And I pulled out a 1968 D Memorial Penny. 8 inches down, go figure. But it's the best thing I've found so far. So, uh, let's see if we can get any older than that. Let's keep going. What'd you do, Alan? You come down to join me? Yeah. This is where all the pole tabs are. You gonna hoard in on them? Oh, they were up there too. Oh, were they? Yeah. Uh, must be a big pole tab area. Huh? No, I think you pole tab Pete. Pole tab Pete? Yeah. yeah, probably. I have no doubt. And here I thought I had the best pole tab area and he had to horn in. Apparently they're up there too. That's disgusting. Well, I got good news and bad news. Good news is I found another coin. It's a 66 uh, memorial, 1966. Bad news is I, I found another memorial. Alan's digging all my pole tabs. I'm not happy about that, but I'm getting the coins. There's more out here. Let's get it. And yet, another memorial. This one's from 1968. Well, at least they're, if they're going to be memorials, at least they're fairly old ones. I don't want to jinx it, but I haven't found a single zinc penny yet. Yep, I just jinxed it, didn't I? Doggone. So, after that last penny, I made the comment, I had to make the comment, um, 
at least there's no zincans yet, right? So what I do, I dug me a zinc and check it out. Yeah. Why do I do that stuff to myself? <sighs> Sun's getting low. We're gonna find something good. We're gonna have to do it soon. Check it out. Alan's way over there. You can see the sun is below the tree line. Uh, man. All right. Let's uh, hit it as long as we can. I'm back on the copper pennies. It's a 1977. I'm actually standing in inside of what was a pond. This was a, a pond here on the golf course. I figure, you know, this is where people are trying to skip coins and, and uh, you know, they're throwing the wedding rings in here and all that fun stuff. So, I thought I'd hit this area. Alan's digging the signal here. He says it's like uh, 78, 80, and six inches down. Oh! Yeah, okay. It was a uh, Tom call that. Hoodoo! Yep. Hoodoo. <laughs> Good job. The way they've been all day. How you doing, Alan? I'm doing. That's good. We kind of. We got the golf course out there. We decided to come through this wooded area. Really cool. It's getting kind of dark in here. But we got this road that goes out to another part of the golf course that I've never been to before. I don't know if you have. I've been out there a couple times. You've been out there a couple times? So, we'll see if we can find anything out there. I just kind of like it in here. Actually, I think on one of these... It was here, I know it was, but I can't remember what part of the woods he said, but Bill found the old Buick badge. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That'd be cool. I'd, I'd even go for something like that. Oh, we just got out of the woods. No luck. None at all. We came out to a section that I, I've seen from a distance before. I haven't been up here yet. But I happen to know you can you see where that mound of dirt right there is. That's uh, from uh, the golf course. Right in under there, I believe there was a house site under all that field dirt. So, I gotta imagine somewhere around here we might have uh, some good signals, but I just don't know. We got a little bit of daylight. I guess we could hit this a little bit and see what happens. And uh, then we're gonna have to get ourselves to the car before it gets too dark. Yeah, I didn't bring my head lamp with me. Well, Alan and I, not much luck, but that's normal with this place. But I do think I just found the biggest coin. Check it out. Yeah, it's going to be a quarter. And I am curious as to what the date is, so... Uh, Give me a minute and I'll find out. All right, that is a 1968 quarter. Hello right, guys, that's our, that's our view right here. The sun is down. There's not a cloud in the sky. Well guys, that's it. That's uh, all we're going to get done tonight. We had fun, got dark on us quick. This is uh, what we found. Let's see if I can do this and hold the light. Let's see, Alan's got, what do you got? You got dime. A, that's a dime and, and, and it was like 13 cents. 13 all cents all together. And he has this uh, odd piece. We're not exactly sure what that is. It's unusual. And he pulls a nice, couple of nice big old chunks of something out. What is this? Got yellow paint on. There's no telling what that is. I have no idea. It's, oh, it feels like aluminum. I think it is. It's very light. It looks almost like school bus yellow, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Then you got him a plow point. 
had broke off at some point. It's probably why it was in the dirt. Me, all I got was like five cents in uh, copper pennies, a dime, a quarter, and a zinc penny that I jinxed myself on. If I just kept my mouth shut, I wouldn't even have that, I'm sure. <laughs> tell you flashlight in your eyes <laughs> it doesn't help things but uh that's a hunt i uh hope you enjoyed it i'm, I'm shining this right in uh, alan's camera sorry about that alan oh no, sorry but we'll catch you next time uh, okay guys well that's it that's our video um we had a ball today uh you know during the summer months we had about an hour more when we get out at this time uh, than we did today those days are just getting shorter um, looked at the clock and it was like 720 something and normally around 830 it starts to get dark for us shorter days gonna get cooler too um, we have fun today didn't find anything of consequence uh, pocket change and that's it uh, got into a new section, at least a new section for me, uh, in the golf course, so that was interesting. But until next time, guys, um, I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe next week it'll be a little bit more interesting for you. Uh, I sure hope. <laughs> uh, but we'll catch you next time, guys. Bye.